For those of you who don't know me, my name is Lua Hancock, and I'm the assistant provost. And I love this night of the Top Hatter Awards to hang out with you guys. So I've been asked to do the kickoff, uh, and I'm standing between you and dinner. So I will keep it fairly brief uh, and hopefully entertaining. Um, so I don't normally, for those of you who have seen me speak before, read as much as I'm going to read uh, tonight off of this specifically. Um, but I had a really interesting situation. So uh, sometimes, only sometimes, procrastination pays off. I meet with some of you who are like, oh, yeah, I work well under pressure. And I'm always like, yeah, come on now. Um, but I know that's really not what you were expecting to hear from me. But a few weeks ago, I started pulling together my remarks for this. And uh, Lizzie said, hey, would you do the opening remarks, uh, you know, 10 minutes or so? And I was like, sure. So I thought, well, this is kind of a fun thing. And how many of you are about to graduate, like any moment now? Oh, my God, you guys are so polite. Everyone's like, if it was me, I'd be like, woo! Oh, just me. Everyone's like, I am about to graduate. Um, we've trained you well. So uh, for those of you who are about to graduate, I was pulling them together and I thought, well, I want to do something kind of fun because it's a leadership banquet. So I started pulling together these lyrics from the past few years, 2014 and 15, and relating them to leadership and relating them to Stetson. And um, I was looking at some Michael Scott footage. You guys know the Office episode where he's like, leadership. Do you know this one? <laughs> right? So I was like having a lot of fun with it. Um, and I kind of was really liking it. But then last night I pulled out my laptop and I usually do work after my kids go to bed. And I was sitting on the couch and I started working on these uh, comments and finishing them up. And honestly, I really literally could not do it. I could not uh, focus um, because I was too distracted by all of the images and footage of what was happening in the world. And it just felt uh, disingenuous, honestly, to write these words. So I threw it away. Uh, if you want to hear about like Megan Trainer lyrics and how they relate to you or whatever, we can do that in another time. You can come see me because there were some fun things in there. Um, everyone loves Beyonce. Don't get me wrong. But I was kind of and that's why I'm reading more of this than that, because I actually never do that. But I trashed my entire speech and started over at 11 p.m. last night. Um, and I thought, you know, I just have been feeling like Earth Day was last week. Uh, last week also is a, a day where we always talk about the wage gap and the difference between what men and women make in our society uh, all over the news, right? ISIS, Nepal, Baltimore, uh, and Nepal even, right? I mean, we are a global community, but you can somehow feel like, wow, that's not in my backyard, right? Uh, last night was in our backyard. I was just talking to Jess. We have some friends, um, and I have some friends also who work up at colleges very close to this area. What are those colleges doing in response today? What's happening? So I realized I was really doing you guys a disservice um, by making it light and making it fun. So not to be the banquet downer, but um, I thought, you know, really our four years together, and for those of you who have been here, hopefully you can reminisce to this, it's really brief. Like, it seems like a lot of time, right, four years, but your college time is like a blink of an eye. And for those of you about to graduate, you're like, how did this happen? Like, how did I get here, right? Um, so I felt like at this time, your potential and our time was so limited, your potential so powerful that I really didn't want to waste any words with you. So last night I was laying there thinking, my boys were asleep. My head was full. And in times like this and things that we're trying to process, it's not just about your head, right? We've trained you guys too. It's also about your heart. When you're watching it, you have some kind of logical response or you have responses based on your uh, background or your upbringing. And then you're questioning those and you're wondering what you think about this whole context. But there's also an emotional reaction to the human experience um, that's just really true. Um, so I was kind of thinking, cause I was like scrolling through Facebook and it was interested to see those people who were still like posting selfies and people who were posting deep thoughts and whether you agree with those or disagree with those. I, I love to watch what people post in response and it's kind of our collective intellectual space or not so intellectual depending on what people post. But I was kind of thinking like if our world had a Facebook page, its status this week would be uh relationship it's complicated so that's kind of i i was feeling like simultaneously like i should go do something like inspired into action right like i want to go to nepal and feed people or pull them out of rubble or i don't know what i want to do and simultaneously feel frozen like what do i do next how do i even make a change what do i do that's impactful and in times like that where i get kind of depressed and i feel like wow all this world is literally crumbling around us what do i do about it there are three things that really i try to do one 
is that I t try to tap into what I be truly believe in, which is spiritual oneness and connection, that we're all connected in this universe that binds us together, that when I hike or I journal or I pray or I meditate or you praise whoever you praise or if you don't praise them, you don't praise them, but you have this moment where you think about the connection and love of our universe in a really deep way. So that's one thing I do that tries to give me hope um, is I just think that we haven't fully lived into that potential. We certainly have not lived into what we think are the founding documents of our own country. Like it looks good on paper. It's not working in practice. Another thing I do is I read a lot. I read a lot about our great past and current leaders. Um, and at these times, what I find speaks to me the most is poetry. So at Stetson, I felt like if we're gonna have a leadership banquet, what is core to our values, to our curriculum? We talk about personal and social responsibility. And what that requires to have personal and social responsibility is leadership. And what leadership requires is that that requires leadership from all of us, not the loud ones, not the named leaders, but all of us. And that leadership takes what is my favorite part of our slogan, which is daring. Not just to be significant, daring. Daring is action, it's hard, it's challenging, it's in your face. When you go to a hotel and you know they have that makeup mirror that shows your pores, like why does anyone have one of those in real life? I'm not even sure why they exist. Leadership is like that. It's like looking at yourself at a way that's almost uncomfortable. It's challenging and it pushes you. It makes you figure out how did I like how I responded in that situation? What am I doing now? Um, so the other thing that takes is support of each other. It takes a space to process and encourage. You guys have done that for each other. I'm not here tonight to tell you what to think. You might think that riots do not lead to social change and are irresponsible. You might think that social change can never happen unless it's forced at extreme levels. You might think that we are not here to step up and solve world hunger, water or disaster relief issues until we see each other as one spiritual family. Or you might be annoyed that I bring God into the conversation at all. You might think that we need to reduce our carbon footprint or you might think that there are more pressing needs. Think what you wanna think. That's not why we're here. We're here to tell you to think, to be informed, to be competent, to be calm, to be a listener, to be a processor, to understand your privilege, to live in the gray area, to lean into challenge, to be a team player, to be a learner, to be a leader. Tonight, I wanna to celebrate all of you and what you've accomplished on your leadership journey. I am honored to work with you every day. I came here because of the students, but I also don't want us to lose sight of what true leadership really means. It's not always fun and games. It means picking something you passionately believe in. It means listening, it means collaborating, it means working for improvement to these complex world issues. It means taking the time and money that others have invested in you, that you have invested in yourself, and using it to be true and powerful leaders. I am excited to be here with you to celebrate this leadership, but I did not want to make light of what it really means when you leave this hall. It's easy to sit here on this campus and talk about leadership in beautiful and fabulous and shiny ways, but it's not that easy. So tonight I will end with a quote by Toni Morrison that is stuck with me while I think about the chapter in this book of our world. Toni Morrison says, if there is a book you really wanna read, but it hasn't been written yet, then you must write it. Thank you. Okay. So hello everyone and welcome to the awards portion of the event. Throughout um, this, we're very excited to recognize a few of the many amazing leaders across Stetson University. This academic year has been filled with many accomplishments, much passion and wonderful spirit for our institution. Even though we are only able to recognize a few of the many people who have impacted our institution at tonight's event, we are very thankful for the support and leadership provided by all of you. As we recognize this year's recipients of the Top Hatter Leadership Awards, if you're named as a recipient of an award and less instructed otherwise, by the presenter of the award, please come to the stage to be recognized. Thank you again for joining us, and we are excited to kick off the night with the first award. So our very first award is the, uh, of the night is the Class Student Employee of the Year. This award is um, to a student employee within class who has constantly exceeded um, the expectations, demonstrated initiative as they actively engage in the development of their position, and supported the advancement of their department's goals. 
The student selected for this award is described as a trailblazer in redefining how student workers in their department provide support. The student showed initiative by coming forward to office staff and expressing that they wanted to better understand the area, do higher level work, and begin connecting one-on-one -on -one with students and pre-advising appointments. We are so excited to honor a student described by their nominator as driven and daring. Please give a round of applause for this year's Class Student Employee of the Year, Mandy Camp. And this is our Vanna White of the night. She'll be presenting all the awards to everyone, so. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Congratulations. Um, so our next award of the evening is our Class Graduate Assistant slash Intern of the Year. Um, so this award is the, so with this award, it's awarded to someone who has shown outstanding leadership and initiative within their area of work by continually using their graduate experience to build a better community for Stetson students. This year's award recipient was described as going above and beyond their call of duty when tasked at working within an area that did not direct, um, did not have a direct supervisor. This individual rose to the challenge and successfully managed a large staff, executed a high profile campus event, and was still successful within their coursework at Stetson University. This individual's nominator shared, she put the needs of others first in her work and allowed, other, um, allowed her to work towards building a better Stetson University. Please give a round of applause for this year's class graduate assistant slash intern of the year, Nikki Tucker. So for our next section of awards, um, I would like to welcome to the stage Nora, who's Stetson University's Coordinator of Student Employment. Um, please help me welcome her to the stage. It's an honor to present the first Student Employee of the Year Award at Stetson. Thank you to the Office of Student Development and Campus Vibrancy for allowing me the opportunity to present the final nominees and winner of this award. This was a very diff difficult nomination process since we have such incredible student employees doing amazing work across campus. Please stand when your name is called to be recognized. Our finalists for the award are Ellie Machione, Lead Tutor, Study Hall Mo Monitor, Preston Stanger, Recycling Tech 2, Jennifer Cherry, Clerical Assistant and Admissions Ambassador, and Nikki Berkey, Student Assistant in Athletics Marketing. The winner of this award works independently, but always steps in when others are in need. The student supervisor could go on and on about the student's work, and believe me, she did. This senior has worked tireless, tirelessly in his role and plans to apply the knowledge he learned within his position to his future goals in life. He is a team player who, who took the initiative to solve a long-standing recycling problem in University Village Apartments. The winner of, this, of the first annual Stetson Student Employee of the Year is Preston Stanger. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's not here, so I'll take his award and hand deliver it when he comes by to pick up all the recycling. <laughs> <laughs> to present our next group of awards focused around new students at Stetson University, please help me welcome Kristen Gregory. Stetson University's Assistant Director of First Year and Transition Programs. The new Student Leader of the Year Award is given to a first year or second year student who has demonstrated skills as a student leader, dedication to Stetson and the surrounding community, and potential for future leadership success. This year's recipient goes above and beyond to make others feel empowered. They inspire others that can be successful through intentional and individual conversation and never gives up until they know the job is completely finished. This individual's work dil works diligently in a variety of campus organizations, including Focus Orientation, Admissions Ambassadors, and Delta Sigma Phi, to help new and old hatters see the value in what Stetson has to offer. This hatter was described as an emerging leader on campus who will only further develop. Please help us congratulate this year's recipient, David Schwartz. The next awards I'm presenting are the First Year Advocate Awards. Each spring, sp first year students are invited to recognize faculty who have gone above and beyond to ensure that their transition to Stetson University has been successful. These individuals have made a positive impact on the experience of new Hatters, making them feel like members of our campus community, inspired them to be successful, and encouraged them to pursue their goals. 
Words used to describe our winners include challenging, dedicated, inspirational, passionate, and amazing. Um, as we recognize these individuals, I ask you to stand and we'll present you with our awards at the end of the ceremony. This year, the recipients of the First Year Advocate Awards are Dr. Rosalind Crowder, Dr. Nicole Denner, Dr. Andrew Larson, Dr. Philip Lucas, Dr. Melissa Parks, Gail Radley, and Dr. Leandra Say. So the Student Advocate Award is given to a faculty or staff member who has demonstrated a commitment to the further growth of student leaders by making a significant investment into the lives of Stetson students. This year's recipient was nominated by half a dozen students who spoke of this individual's inspiration and support as they empower students across Stetson University to fight for justice and take action in our community. One student specifically wrote about this individual is selfless and always puts students before themselves as they support the learning of students and the betterment of our world. This individual has specifically gone above and beyond in their efforts to support literacy and inspire Stetson students to understand the difference that one book can make in a person's life. This year, we are proud to award the Student Advocate Award to Rajni Shankar Brown. <laughs> the next award that we'd like to present is the Mentor of the Year. The Mentor of the Year, of the year is given to a full-time staff member within Campus Life and Student Success who has significantly invested in the lives of their students and staff. This year's recipient was described in her nomination as going above and beyond her role at Stetson University by being a constant ally to small and underrepresented student organizations and by becoming connected within the land community to foster connection with the institution. This individual was described as forging relationships with students by always offering an, an open office door, a non-judgmental ear, and a cup of tea. This year's recipient has served as an incredible advocate to support her students in the exploration of many diverse issues throughout their work and interfaith initiatives. This year, we are excited to award Mentor of the Year to Ms. Lindsay Graves. <laughs> the next award that I'd like to recognize uh, has already been given, but I, I really felt that it was important to recognize this person at this ceremony as well because she's an outstanding student leader. The Greek Life Dedication Award is given to a graduating senior who has dedicated time, energy, and passion to the fraternity and sorority community over their time at Stetson. The recipient of this year's award is a Greek woman who has significantly impacted the fraternity and sorority community throughout her four years here. She served as a rogue gamma this past fall, was a member of both the Senior Week Committee and the Greek Week Committee, has been a leader in her chapter in Panhellenic, and is currently an intern in our Office of Fraternity and Sorority Involvement. Her dedication and hard work has shown through her accomplishments and in her efforts to unite the Greek community. And I would like to recognize Holly Meadows as our, Holly Meadows as our recipient for 2015. All right, so uh, to begin, it is my pleasure to recognize the person who will have the award with the longest title of the evening. The Doyle Elam Carlton's Distinguished Service Leadership Award. Boom. Uh, the Doyle Elam Carlton's Distinguished Service Leadership Award recognizes a student who has served as a leader by dedicating his or her time to serving others in the Stetson and DeLand community for the past year. This award represents the honorable work of Doyle Elam Carlton, whose name is reflected on our own Carlton Union Building, uh, a 1909 Stetson graduate, and um, I'm wearing cufflinks today to support this, Florida's governor during the Great Depression. These are the, the state, of, state seal of Florida. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I felt compelled. Uh, Mr. Carlton was famous among the Stetson community for his commitment to enhancing cultural, religious, and intellectual life. This year's recipient has shown time and time again that fostering intellectual growth in their self and others is a priority. This individual has specifically chosen the career path of education so they can continue to invest in the lives of children and make an impact in whichever community they end up. Throughout their time here at Stetson University, they joined Bonner and significantly contributed to their community and the Bonner program through their work as a member of our leadership team and as a senior intern. Please help us in congratulating this year's Doyle Elim Carlton's Distinguished Service Leadership Award recipient, Jessica Rosenblum. <laughs> All right, so the second award I'm presenting is the Community Impact Award. The Community Impact Award is given to a student organization that has made significant contributions to the communities surrounding Stetson through service. 
This year's recipient is a newer organization at Stetson University and is known for their work serving the DeLand community through youth empowerment initiatives. The students involved in this organization spend countless hours working with youth throughout West Volusia County as they serve as positive role models by empowering less fortunate youth to set goals that include the prospect of being the first in their families to attend college. Throughout their community work, this organization works to provide a fun, creative, and effective means to empower youth to always strive for more. And they have awesome costumes. <laughs> Please help me in congratulating this year's Community Impact recipient, the Stetson U Power Rangers. All right, and the final award that I'll be presenting today is the Newman Civic Fellows Award. The Newman Civic Fellows Award, sponsored by the KPMG Foundation and the National Civic Organization Campus Compact, recognizes one student each year who represents the next generation of public problem solvers and civic leaders. Through service, research, and advocacy, Newman Civic Fellows are making the most of their college experiences to better understand themselves, the root causes of social issues, and creating effective mechanisms for creating lasting change in our communities. The 2015 Stetson University Newman Civic Fellow is a student who relentlessly advocates for those who are homeless through her volunteer positions as a site team leader and member of the Board of Directors of the Neighborhood Center of West Volusia, a local nonprofit organization that works directly with people who are homeless in our community. Um, I'd like to uh, recognize junior psychology major Amber Finnicum Simmons. <clears throat> Um, well, you know, I, I can't get in front of all of you without sharing a little bit of my heart. That's the risk of putting me in front of a microphone. Um, there's a lot of really great people in this room, and I just wanted to say uh, that you mean so much to us, and we really appreciate your leadership, and, and we care so much about each of you. And to the seniors, um, thanks for everything you've done for Stetson. Uh, Stetson will never be the same, and so we appreciate you. Come back and see us soon. Okay, before I cry about our missing seniors, um, the Student Program of the Year. Um, this, uh, the Student Program of the Year Award is given to a group of students who developed and sponsored a program or an event that has enriched the academic and or co-curricular lives of Stetson University students. This year's recipient is a student organization that centered their program on bringing together community leaders, students, and entrepreneurs to impact the lives of others. Um, throughout this, this weekend, uh, of creativity. Ideas were pitched to inspire learning and foster future ideas. This unique experience allowed direct feedback to come from professionals to further the development of students throughout the program. And please help us in congratulating this year's Student Program of the Year recipient, Stetson Entrepreneurial Group. Well, we're honored to give all the awards, but um, this is someone I've, I've had the privilege to work with directly, so I'm, I'm, I'm a little extra honored about giving uh, the Vibrant Leader Award. Uh, the Vibrant Leader Award is given to a student who has facilitated action within the Stetson community, has embodied Stetson spirit in his or her choices in leadership, and has inspired passion in his or her fellow hatters. This year's recipient was described by his or her nominator as a bright, joyous, spirited individual who has worked very diligently to attain all of the goals set for his or her organization. <laughs> Throughout the recipient's involvement across campus, um, they spread cheer and school spirit uh, whilst radiating love. I love that line, whilst radiating love. Pure compassion and simplicity in that on all that this, individual's, uh, this individual does and sets um, her mind to. Throughout their involvement across campus in the Greek community, Focus University Ambassadors Varsity, the list goes on, and other things, um, this individual not only loves those close to her, but those that she has not even met yet. This year, we are very excited to present the Vibrant Leader Award to Megan Angulo. The Advisor of the Year Award is given to an advisor of a student organization who demonstrates outstanding commitment and dedication to the advising and advancement of their student group. 
This year's recipient was described by their nominator as always going above and beyond to help invite speakers and plan lectures. This individual's contributions to this student organization in the form of suggestions and feedback focused on bringing creativity and being helpful to the organization's mission. Described by their students as, a humble, and, as humble and persistent, we are very excited to honor an advisor who has left a lasting impact on their students. Please help me congratu congratulate this year's Advisor of the Year, Jelana Patrovic, the advisor for STAND. The next award we have is the Student Organization of the Year. Um, working with student orgs this year has been very exciting. We've had a lot of improvement, a lot of great orgs start up, and some that have been around for years just doing great things. Um, the Student Organization of the Year Award is presented to a student organization that has excelled through the completion of its mission, membership, recruitment, leadership development, participation in programming, and has made a consistent contribution to the student life at Stetson University. This year's recipient is an organization that has excelled at furthering the professional skills of students at Stetson University. Throughout the past year, they focused on making Stetson a vibrant campus throughout the hosting of social events and reaching out to students to ensure the recruitment of all interested students. This year, we are very excited to award this, uh, the, stu the Student Organization of the Year to Alpha Kappa Psi. All right, so Hatter Strong was a new initiative out of a partnership between Wellness and Recreation, Housing and Res Life, and the local U.S. Army Recruiting Office. The event took place in conjunction with John B. Well Week in February and consisted of five days of competitions where participants tested their strength, endurance, and me uh, mental prowess. Our Hatter Strong Week, the next Hatter Strong Week, will take place September 28th through October 2nd, and we hope to see many of you out there testing your strength against your fellow Hatters. Events included the powerlift competition, burnout series, survivor puzzle run, weight sled and tire flip, and a final fitness challenge. Our champions participated in every single event against over 100 of our strongest hatters and finished in the top three for each competition. Our champions can truly call themselves Hatter Strong. Congratulations to our spring 2015 Hatter Strong winners, Angela Hartless and Anthony Espinosa. The Stetson Value Leaders Award, Personal Growth, is given to a student that has demonstrated commitment to Stetson's values of personal growth in their involvement, leadership, and contributions to the community. This year's recipient is described as encompassing every aspect of Stetson's value of personal growth throughout their intercultural competence that has been showcased through time abroad, work as an athlete on the rowing team, spiritual focus as a member of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, leadership focus through lead team, and various other leadership roles on campus. Please help us congratulating this year's Stetson Values Leader Award for Personal Growth, Emmy Winsell. The Stetson Values Leader Award Intellectual Development is given to a student that has demonstrated commitment to Stetson's value of intellectual development and their involvements, leadership, and contribution to the community. The recipient for this award has consistently demonstrated a strong commitment to Stetson's value of intellectual development through their involvement and leadership in student organizations on campus, as well as contributions to the community. They have showed an unparalleled obligation to furthering their learning, not only through their classes, but outside of them as well. This honor student has maintained a 4.0 GPA as a student athlete while leading one of the largest student organizations on campus and studying multiple languages, including French and Russian, in their free time. Please help me congratulating the winner of the Stetson Values Leaders Award Intellectual De Development, Joseph Beery. Good evening, everyone. How's everyone doing today? Woo! Who's excited? Woo! No, who's excited? Woo! Excellent. What a great award ceremony. Um, I have the honor to present the next award, and let me read a few excerpts. The Setson Values Leader Award Global Citizenship is given to a student that has demonstrated commitment to Stetson's values of global citizenship and their involvement, leadership, and contributions to the community. 
This year's recipient was described by their nominator as the perfect exemplification of this award. This individual has committed to global development throughout their time at Stetson studying abroad, being in pro excuse me, being involved in programs like the Social Justice Leadership Retreat and Black Lives Matter movement. And given back to the community through service. This individual has diligently decided to give back to the community by getting involved in the Bonner program and putting an emphasis on educating students from Spanish-speaking homes. Please help me congratulate this year's Stetson Values Leader Award Global Citizenship Leader, excuse me, citizenship recipient, Ka Su. So the Leadership Legacy Award is given to a graduating student that has positively impacted others through their skills as a leader by making a lasting impact on the Stetson community that will continue to impact others and support others after their graduation. This year's recipient is going to, or this year's award is going to a student that was described as being a humble student that embraces all interactions with the same agenda, love and compassion. Throughout this individual's involvement, they have shown um, a passion to build community across Stetson. Throughout this individual's work as an RA and within Fellowship of Christian Athletes, he constantly leads with integrity and compassion, focused on leaving a lasting impact and supporting those around this individual. This year, we're excited to present this award to Pat Cohn. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, Pat Cohn, Pat Cohn was unable to join us this evening due to prior commitments actually with FCA, um, his organization, but we're very excited to present this award to him and don't worry, we will make sure it's a celebration after this event. So thank you very much. Um, and before we move on to our final award, since it's the last time you have to hear from me tonight, um, one, per one other group that I want to recognize, I really want to give a shout out to our selection committee for many of the Top Hatter Awards. So anyone who was on the selection committee for the Top Hatter Leadership Awards, do you mind standing really quickly? We have a few people in the room. One, two. Kristen's already standing, so. <laughs> but. I want to give out a shout out to them because uh, we sat through uh, in a room for a few hours um, with Chipotle trying, or with Moe's, sorry. Uh, I know there's a big difference there. We sat in a room with Moe's uh, trying to figure out, because honestly it was very hard. So many students were so amazing. So many of the nominations were amazing. So it was very hard deciding a lot of the winners of these awards. I definitely want to give a huge shout out to a lot of these individuals. Um, so our final award of the night is um, the Extraordinary Leader Award and focuses around leading in influential change within the Stetson community. So please help me um, in welcoming Lynn, um, our Dean of Students, to present the final award. Tonight's final award is the Extraordinary Leader Award, and it's given to a student that has demonstrated brilliant leadership qualities through their commitment and dedication to Stetson University and the campus. This student has created or inspired a change initiative within the community and continues to serve as an active agent, inspiring other students to succeed and make a positive impact on campus. This year's recipient is known for their strength and diligence, their calming yet confident personality, and their ability to stand up for what they believe. This individual inspired a large change initiative within the Stetson community through the establishment of a new student organization centered around a very important issue, not just for their peers, but for the entire Stetson community. This individual worked to establish students against sexual assault by connecting with their peers, establishing outreach, and inspiring others to step up for what they believe. Please help us in congratulating this year's extraordinary leader, Christina Canalizzo. <laughs> so if you'll humor me for a minute, just go ahead and close your eyes, get into a space that feels comfortable, just to think about this year. You know, what did you look like in August as a leader on this campus? What were your challenges? What were your struggles? And you know, this is for staff and faculty too, right? Because we're all on this leadership journey together. What did you work on this year? What were some things maybe that happened that, that stumbled? You stumbled along the way that they weren't um, things you prepared for? They were challenges? Maybe? not your best moment, 
We all have them. I have one about every day. It's okay. And then what were the things you learned and you figured out? And what about next year? Even for the seniors, what's going to happen next year that's going to take you to that next step in your leadership journey? So go ahead and come back to us. Hopefully you thought about something that you accomplished. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you won an award tonight. It doesn't mean that you had a leadership position or a fancy title or that you got paid to do a job on campus. It just means that you showed up and you decided you were going to stand up for your community and be part of it and try to improve yourself every day. So give yourself a giant round of applause. And join me before we leave in thanking Lizzie Dement for this amazing event. I encourage you to tell someone in this room why you think they're wonderful and to have a fantastic night. Thank you all so much for coming out.